Three, two, one. What up, it's your man DJ Empty B checking in right here on your hip-hop station, B96.5. Home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. That's right, man. You know what it is, man. It's the after party, man. And on Friday nights, I always bring the hottest people in the city, the hottest people in the streets. The guy I got in the building right now, he really don't need no introduction. I know I say that every week, but this guy definitely don't need no introduction. But I'm going to do it anyway, man. Jamarcus, what's happening, bro? What's good, man? What's going on tonight? What's happening, bro? You all you good? I'm straight, man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like, you know, I love something. I'm coming to get something I love. I kind of come back and get it. That's right. That's right. Well, I know you got a couple of things that's going on in the streets right now, man. You got this documentary, man, Left Lane Living. Three. Documentary. Three or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's chop it up about that for a minute, man. Like, what is this going to be about? It's more like. On this one, I kind of like, you know, brought people into my life on this one a little bit more. That's why I did a documentary with it. Like, I know you, you know, most of the time they just heard of me through some clubs or something like that. But, you know, in this project, I kind of like, you know, really let you know what it is. That's why the it's a visual to it, too. So that's why I'm doing this right now. What we doing? You see what I'm saying? So I know you're saying, like, you letting us in, letting us really know what it is, but you ain't saying nothing, man. Like, what is this documentary about, man? Man, this about the lifestyle of Jamarcus. I, I'm it. telling you what it is, man. Like, plus I think it's probably going to be my last series of The Left Lane Living. I'm just something I wanted to finish up. I wanted to do that. But it's always going to be Left Lane Living. But this documentary is it's about me. It's it's about what I've been through and I'm going through, you know, my story different than your story. You that's see right. what I'm saying? And that's just what it is right now. Man, let's, let's let's take it back. Let's take it back to what you think about me. You know what I'm saying? Like probably one of the hottest records in the city a couple of summers ago, man. And I know to me, I'm a DJ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like the song came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Like you being from where you're from, which is New Bird, which happened, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's uh, up? Like the success that you got from that record, man, was it was pretty quick. Like, let's talk about that a little bit, man. Like, for real, EB, I, I was fresh out of the penitentiary. You know, what I'm saying? I was 21. I wrote that song on home incarceration in my mama's house. I was living with my mama. And shit, I really ain't never did no open mics or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know. I, DJ Weedy. And if anybody know DJ Weedy, like you don't hear about him too much in the city. He's a no legend more, in the city, yeah, right he's there, a man. Legend. He's a legend. What up, but though? A lot of people, young dudes, they don't know who Weedy is, man. Weedy is the very first DJ to ever play my music. A week later, Q heard the music. Q brought me up to the station. After that, the rest is history. I hooked up with this guy, Slick. <laughs> you know, Slick. Slick. He been there since day one. That's my dog. You know, Slick the reason. You know, I, I got I got kids in Mayfield right now. But I ain't <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, it's all good, though. I met you know, like, rocking with the city, man. You know, a lot of people complain about the city on support. I really. I really can't go behind that. I mean, I have my situation where you know, dudes might have hated on me. So I might have hated on me. But I still have love for the city for the most part. So, so. A million people love me, a hundred thousand hate me type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, now, right now, we live in the studio, man. B96.5. It's the after party. Get on Manji Marcus in the building, man. We talking about this documentary that's about to drop. Also, man, he got this new record. So, you know what I'm saying, man? Keep it right here, man. B96.5. We're going to play a couple of records. We're going to get back to it after this, man. B96.5. Shout out to Bryson, man. This did his thing. 100, 502, come on, all that cool shit. 
you know, we on some other shit right now. We in the streets, what's up? We in town. You good? Move the key. Yeah, man, I'm on the go, man, you know. Throwing the wheelchair in the back right now, fuck it, man. It's just reality. It's just, this is what it is. I ain't, you know. I need to put my motherfucking sling on. Man, fuck it. I ain't even gonna wear the motherfucker today, man. Fuck it. Just where it go, you know. Slide through my hood, man. You feel me? You know, I'm still out here moving and grooving. Nigga can't make me stay in the house, nigga. I ain't never stayed in the house, nigga. I'm my mama's only child. Love to be outside, nigga. For real. You dig? Park, by the way, man, you feel me, you know, all this is Lincoln Park, man, I grew up to her, man, all this, all this to her, this is where I'm from, you know, we raised a slide on my block, though, where, you know, I, it all started at, for real, for real, Cast the trail, get the get the streets uh, in. Come up, we come up on see just where I'm from though, right here. Make sure you get the sign of the show on the street up here, you know what I'm saying? This is where I'm from. This is where it all started at, you feel me? You see it goes real slow for me, cause look, 5200. You see what my shirt say? My shirt say 5200. You see this right here? 5200 Cedar Circle, man. This is where I'm from. I sold my first, I sold my first piece of dope right here on the corner, man. Feel me? My cousins don't stay in this house, man. Shout out to BD and Skids, man. There's somebody else live right now, man. But it's where it all started at, man. I come right here from this block. That used to be a crack house right there. Rest in peace, Andre. Back there. My nigga B Kibo. Rest in peace, Bo. They stayed right there. I stayed right here in this house right here. You see this blue house coming up? See this blue house, 5213? Man, I got my first piece of ass in this house right here, man. I broke my virginity in that back room right there, man. That's where I come from, man. My nigga skids them, I mean, my nigga wax them, them move. Free my nigga wax, by the way. You feel me? Free my nigga wax, by the way. He, you know, he's gone. You feel me? I ain't got no tattoos, nigga. I hate neither.
shit's for real, man. Top of being shot, diabetic. You know they said take diabetics to hell longer. <laughs> Six niggas died from my hood this year. I survived. So I Only the strong survived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Took me down like 50. Yeah, there. Sam, you know Sam shot you yeah. I guess that was what's meant. Some niggas ain't no killers. They shot me an arm and leg and shit. That school, why you ain't acting good in that school, man? Talk. Uh, you know. You don't know. Don't what you did today. She don't want to talk about it. What you say? So you want to bark on the Yeah, I just heard what she did. I said, it's too close to Christmas. It's too close to Christmas. She's gone. She took off running. She's gone. Ah, well, here she come back. She ready to get the phone. I said, it's too close to Christmas. for that? Can't be doing that. Yeah, trick or treat Christmas. Yeah, trick or treat all of us. Did I take another come out that room until I get back? Go get in that room. What well, row got 40 heads? What well, row got 40 heads? Right. Well, you, you see where I'm at, man. This is one of my, one of the bandos where I'm really at with it. You know what I'm talking about? Really get money around this motherfucker too. Don't make you no know, ain't no mistakes and shit. You, feel me? you know it's a beautiful day in October. By the time you see this, it might be December, January. Who knows? I don't know, man. Like I've been like one of them niggas. Like I've been popping in my city like since like 2011. Like. You can go back, date back my YouTube videos, man, since like 2011, man. I've been popping in my city. I'm like 21 years old. I'm like 28 today, man. I still ain't signed no deal. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I had the chance to sign with like Plies in like 2012. Yeah, something, I think it was 2012, 2013, but that didn't ever fall through, you know what I'm saying? But big ups to dude. Ain't no bad blood or no shit, you feel me? Um, it just, you know. I've been in the streets, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's kind of my fault. You know, my whole family in Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about? So, like, they been telling me, man, you should have moved to Atlanta, you should have been gone, why you ain't left yet? And it, it's kind of fucked up, but shit, I've been in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, hard headed, you know, hard head make a soft ass, that's what they say, you know what I'm saying? So, I got shot seven times, man, by some jealous ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Jealous ass shit, you feel me? Niggas jealous of a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I should have 
been on my way, man. You know, it is what it is, though. I look at that, um, you ever seen the NBA Young Boy video? I seen the NBA Young Boy video where he talking to Meek Mills. Meek Mills say some shit like, nigga, you gotta move or you gonna die. Nigga, I listen to that shit, nigga. Like, for real, nigga, that's real talk, nigga. That shit. Niggas in your own hood, niggas in your own city, I hate you for just nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know, it is what it is. I ain't, you know. I always felt like ain't no nigga gonna make me leave my city, you feel me? Ain't no nigga finna make, move me. I ain't, I ain't scared of none of you niggas. Fuck all y'all niggas, you feel me? And that's how I feel. Fuck all them niggas. I'm the king of Kentucky. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is. Niggas know me. Niggas know how I'm rocking, you feel me? We right here in my band though right now. It ain't no whole lot of rap, nigga. I get money over through this motherfucker, nigga. All over this motherfucker, nigga. I'm getting paid for, nigga. Niggas know what it is, nigga, but... Same time, niggas is jealous, niggas is girls. They know who they are. I ain't gonna speak on no names. Niggas know what it is, nigga. We leave that shit in the streets, you feel me? You know? Besides that, you know, it's my company. It's my company, man. 5200. 5200, we run it. One on one it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 5200, man. That's my company, man. Like I said, though, man, I done opened up for all the major artists, man. Like, it go from Master P to Meek Mills to motherfucking Gucci Mane. Nigga, I opened up for Gucci on my birthday, nigga. That shit was lit, nigga. Uh, you Shout out to the nurse. I mean, the medical Slide assistant. back a little bit so I don't hurt your leg. Some Asics. I like them right now. Oh, these are Reeboks. I'm the Rubo Reebok stepping it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You sure you want to turn around and. Yeah, I'm going to turn around. And use the other arm? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I heard someone bending down too. Alright. Let's go back a little bit more. It looks like that's going to be sitting me all the way up. Right there. I can slide this back. I need a, uh, another, I mean, I don't know, you, you know we can do it or something, but I need another eight and a bandage. Like a oh, we take care of you. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'll be back in a minute, man. You know I'm fucked up right now. I'll be back. Yeah, I know I look nasty. I'm gonna watch this motherfucker ASAP. Without a, without a hinge elbow, okay. What's the, what's the hinge elbow? It would be a brace. Oh, but you, okay. you wouldn't even be able to move it this much. And we do want to send you to physical therapy. Okay, outpatient? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And a uh, little skin lotion after she takes the stitches on there. Is that what you have? Calcium pills. Do you smoke cigarettes? Uh, black and mouth. Okay. You, oh, don't like, you don't inhale. I know what they are. Yeah, they have. You know, oh, okay. small. Super you know, I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, whatever you could do, you know, it slows down the bone healing. I know. I said, yeah, plus, you know, uh, the goal of money you'll save. Yeah, it'll save a lot so, of money. Yeah, and uh, so this slows down the bone. You drink milk, get calcium. I got vitamin D pills uh, they prescribe. Vitamin D with the calcium get, are really good. Yeah, no get. Advil, no Motrin that can slow down the bone healing. Okay. Tylenol's okay, and, uh, you know, we got to give you the... Reminder about the pain medicine has, uh, you know, just like you read about the newspaper, a lot of addiction potentials yeah. will start taking less, breaking in half. Okay. And they're not allergic to anything. Right? No, we're not allergic. And he's got to run you through the, the Casper system anyway. We got all these rules now. No, Donna, you stop getting. Come on, don't stop because the doctors walk in. Donna, you supposed to have your business, man. Well. You know you ready to go take your lunch. <laughs> You don't want to take try to act like you're gonna take lunch around him. Ah, uh, he's one of them. Yeah. He look like he's hard on a player. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn, how many stitches I have? You have a lot in here. And I am gonna have to move 
so many dry skin. You have a lot of dry skin. Hey, whenever you get back, Doc, can you go through the pictures for me? Yeah, we'll go over through the next You can walk on the right, right one, but wear that brace. Wear, wear, wear that it. AFO. Okay. Um, and then with the elbow, you know, we're not going to put you in. There's something called a hinged elbow brace, which kind of limits how much of this, but we want, we want you moving it, so no brace, okay? So we're just really doing Just we're keep working doing on that. it. Keep working on it, and we'll give you some uh, physical therapy to work on that too, okay? okay? So physical therapy, you'll go to physical therapy and work on getting that arm straight and okay. flexing and stuff, okay? Not much lifting weights though. No lifting okay, no, weights, no, no, nothing no like that. Don't pick up milk. You can pick up a glass of water, that's pretty okay. much it. Okay. What about, um, what about like, um, so physical therapy is going to help me straighten it out more because mm -hmm. it's going to still be like it's for a little It's going to be stiff. It's just, that's all stiffness. That's just stiffness. That's stiffness. That's but eventually stiffness. it'll come out. It's, it should, exactly. Then we want you to be able to get it all done okay. straight. Okay. Yeah. That'll probably just, take, what, two weeks, right? Three weeks? Well, it could take longer. It can, you've been like that for six weeks. Six weeks. It, so it might take six weeks. It can take longer, exactly. So you just got you just got to work on it, okay? Let pain be your guide. Don't go overboard. Okay. Okay? Uh, nope. You don't have to wear the knee mold. I don't. Nope. You don't have to. It's up to you if you want to wear it for comfort, but you know we want you to be able to bend that knee a little bit. Okay, work on that range of motion. Okay. We're gonna get you to do that with physical therapy also. Okay. Okay. Um, and again, wear this leg first though. But wear my wear the AFO. The wear the AFO, AFO. From my, in my shoe. Yep. Yep. It'll keep you because when you walk right now, if you walk, your foot's gonna be like this. You're gonna trip yeah. and fall. Yeah. So that thing what that does is keep it neutral, so you can walk. You know what I'm saying? All uh, right. And just keep that on every day. Yep, keep it, keep it on when you're walking. You don't have to wear it all the time in bed or something, but when you're walking. When well, I'm walking, I'm gonna keep it on. Okay. Yep. It's in the car though, really. I could put it on so like in the yeah. car for real. That works. Uh, can you take him through the pictures? Yeah, again? sure. Um, so we'll go over the elbow ones first. Uh, right elbow, that's it from the back. Um, plate bullet fragments. The bullet fragments sitting there. Here's a view from the side. Again, you see the plate, the screws, the bullet fragments sitting here in the front. This is the right knee. Uh, there's no, nothing in here. That's where the, the bullet went into the knee, knee and we washed it out. Well, right there? Yeah. That's a bullet right there? No, no, there's no bullet in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where did it wash it out at? Uh, it, it, it went through and through is what it looks oh, like. Oh, it went through the middle like yeah, that's what it looks like. Dang. It went through and through or something. Because um, there's no fragments left in the knee. Uh, then there's... Uh, left femur. And this is, uh, you know, you got a gunshot wound over here, and that's where, you know, all this fracture is. We put a nail down and put screws to hold it at the bottom and at the top there. So much for TSA, man. I get on them planes and shit. They gon' I mean, will it go off? Uh, well, when you're in the body scanner thing, it'll show up that you have metal there. Um, ah, yeah, so they'll probably be like, it's something yeah, that's exactly. Really it's, it's just, exactly. They probably, they see that every day. Yep, uh, it's not the first time, exactly. So you can come out whenever you're ready and we'll get all that paperwork ready for you. Uh, okay? I'm almost done, as soon as I wrap it. What's up, what's up, what's up, boy? How you doing, man? You doing all right after this shit, man? Yeah, man. Yeah. I know that, man. I know it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Where y'all from? Y'all from Tennessee? No, I Okay. Hey, it, ain't, it ain't too far, though. Somewhere on the tree. Man. Because. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a green baby. Ah, I don't fuck with the rain. I'm Ah, I'm And you know what? That'll be the only reason I like him. Yeah, just because he it. came from the city. Though. That's it, man. You work there, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks for the hospital. Uh, see you later, Mr. Hunt. Yes, sir. You too, Mr. Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold out this one. Alright, you Get better, man. Yeah, you know it. Get better. You know it. See it, Take care. See, me and that nigga, we go, we go back, though, like, to a time where his, me, him, his sister, his mom and Miss Cookie cussing us out every Saturday, we shooting dice, y'all niggas recording, this nigga was sending motherfucking, uh, he was sending, uh, how was it, it was probably like, about six grade, I think, and we, uh, we used to record and shit, 
when back when back when they had them had they had them little motherfuckers be playing record, push some two buttons and shit down. We'd be recording and shit in that motherfucker in his we'd be in his room. Every day he'd be like, Man, I'm gonna work on my signature, I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm like, shit, nigga, you do whatever you wanna do. Fuck it. Here, let's sir. Once I don't get a nigga a million. So I remember him uh he be working on his signature shit. This nigga turn around, this nigga have two, three, four, five page notebooks, everything just you know what I'm saying, all kind of new songs and shit. He will send that shit out to A and I's. He did that shit when we was when we was young niggas. Gambling and shit. My crib, his crib, you know, that type of shit. We go, we go, we go back though. Me and him. Well, I remember shit from the from the before a nigga even knew anything when the nigga was still playing football and shit for the Lobos, you know. That that far back type shit. Before before the whole for the music shit really started jumping off, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I still fuck with it a little bit, but for the most part, there wasn't no, you know, wasn't no whole lot right now. But that nigga, I seen that, that What You Think About Me here, and I was like, damn. I'm at the store down on, uh, down on Cecil, Cecil and Broadway. And the nigga, some young nigga, he pulls up, man, fuck what you think about me, nigga, huh? I'm, I sit there looking like, Man, I gotta let me call my nigga, it's just my nigga you listening to type shit. But for me, that kinda let me know that shit that shit that shit's real. And then just doing shows and shit up and seeing how he his his hustle and his drive, I'm like, damn nigga, you everybody really know who you are now. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it's time to get in the motherfucking yum something. I'll be all the way back, but I'm driving and shit though, so I'm good, you feel me? 
I just seen little gigs at the courthouse earlier, man. He told me. I seen I seen little gigs at the courthouse earlier, man. He told me some other shit about you. I said, nah, Ray Ray can't be happening, my nigga. Nah, uh Straight up, man. Left Lane Living 3, the documentary on the way. Y'all heard Free My Dog. It's my brother I heard. Free Ray Burns, nigga. Y'all know what time it is. He coming home soon, nigga. Look, man, tell him to be looking out for this shit, man. Slow feet don't eat, man. The mixtape, man. So, what is it? What is it? Say it again. Slow feet don't eat, the mixtapes coming. Look, I already know what it is. Fuck these suck ass niggas. Hey, my nigga, fuck that. Ah, bitch ass niggas. Y'all niggas, my nigga, still moving. They move the fuck y'all mean. Fuck y'all mean, he's still moving and groovy. Y'all bitch ass niggas, stop nothing. It's the camera. Yeah. Look at her. No. Bitch ass niggas, stop nothing. 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 Bitch ass nigga, me. Nice and fuck, nigga. Y'all done? Bang, bang, bang. I don't edit that. Bang, bang, don't bang. Don't edit that. Suck ass. I need all that shit. Shit. What's this? I've been home from Arizona probably like two months. He comes out of all my niggas I got. I call him up, no problem. He come get me from our part two weeks, two weeks later. He's supposed to be in motherfucking Atlanta for a football game. This nigga, I, I heard he get shot. I swear, ever since then, you know, nigga been, nigga been like way fucked up. So, you know, I've got to watch how nigga move. Niggas is really haters out here. And everybody and his friend, they won't be a part of the buzz. They won't ride the wave. But, you know, they just, they, they in it because they see the Jamarcus and them. They ain't see, they ain't see what I saw before the change, before the, for the for the grown man shit, we always talking about kids and you know. And then we then we then we we adults, we we men. I just woke up, slick. <laughs> yeah. Dope boy stand up. Yeah. Free me. I'm going through it right now. Meek, I'm on my way to court. I'm on probation. My P.O.s and shit gonna be in there, man. Free Meek, man. That just happened. That's recently happened. They always try and put a nigga down, you know. Man, Meek's like, Meek's like, you know, A-list nigga, you feel me? Meek's like big, you feel me? I'm still on my grind. I'm still... Trying to get there, and even when I get there, I'm still gonna grind like I ain't got shit. You feel me? I am, you know. You feel me? So, you know, that's it. They just try and handle a nigga. You feel me? You know how it go, man. Free a real one, man. They don't want to see. They don't want to see us come up, man. It's just young black males. It's like the world's against you from day one, literally against you. Like, and I don't give a fuck who say what about it. It's real. It's real as it is. You feel me? Like the world's against us from day one, man. So I try to lead my sons in the right direction, man. Daddy done did a lot of shit. You feel me? They force you. They force your hand out this motherfucker. You got to stay down. Man. Two dollars.
That was a real spot. It said two dollars. Put us on the record. We're we'll calling the case of Conwell, Kentucky versus Jamarcus Hunt. That is case number 12 CR 3083. Counsel, would you please state your appearance? Connor Frank Dolphin, the Hilton Act. Good afternoon, Judge Matt Fair with Mr. Hunt. Judge, Mr. Hunt has a medical condition that we ask that he be able to stay in during the I'm not sure if you're okay with it. I'm going to ask Judge Graham to leave it on that. We have this on our motion to revoke, but that's based on a couple of new charges. Where do we stand? Your Honor, my understanding, Mr. Farrah, is those are still down in district court with co-defendants and may resolve favorably for the defendant. Uh, given that, I would request the court to pass this hearing day to see how that plays out. Okay. So Judge, we go to court on those on December 8th. Uh, I'll, uh, I got you. I'm getting called a duty, too. That's <laughs> all. I'm off the wall of the lady out there. I need some little gigs, sick city, they put me. Well, I'm pulling over, dude. I'm pulling over, dude. Ditch me, ditch this. Matt Farrell. Matt Farrell. Yeah. He's been, he been, he been the lawyer for about five, six years. His name ain't just, you know what I'm saying? Like how a nigga might go get robbed or something like that. But nah, I'm straight. Dude, and got me out of H cases. Uh, domestic violence is all kind of wild ass shit. You feel me? I'm fucking with him. Yeah. And we got a bond. Dude, FaceTime me and everything. Where are yeah. you at? We on that type of relationship. Yeah. Where, 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 Fucked up, man. I can't. You got to get. He know. I'll tell him. Look, in order for you to get paid, you got to give me an alert. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I can get paid. That's the only way you can get some money. See, I like this because it helps me bend my knee yeah. and stretch my arms. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Elbows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we had a lot of plans for you today. She told me what all to do, but unfortunately, it came so late. Do you want to start your cell phone in there? But I don't want you to lose balance. So let's try a little stuff there. Put you under an assessor again if they feel like. What's well, not when did you have it's going to be before a year or two before they I don't know, girl, because I still got mine in. Mine's still in. Yeah, yeah he, he broke his finger bones. I got titanium through mine, though. So. Yeah, that's what it, it just depends how bad the back is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Sometimes you do well, sometimes you, the rod still stays there. Yeah, they said I was... I haven't seen how you know, I, uh, factor, how bad you factor was. They said mine's had to stay in, because mine... See, his is worse than mine, but it took a long time for me to go up. Okay, let's walk up to the room. We'll do these two, the tops now. So go ahead and take your walker. I can remember, say hi to the lady, Miss Sherry. And what's your name? Sequoia, Miss Sherry Sequoia, you know. Don't be surprised you see it pop up on your Facebook timeline. <laughs> nah, it'll be it'll be on DVD too, man. Yeah, we'll do that too. I'm a man. physical therapy, man. I'm getting back. <laughs> Throw the wall, man. Walking with a pimp right now. Oh, you walking without the walker? I've been trying to. But you're not supposed to put that much weight on the house. No, but I don't be feeling it though, Mr. Rowe. No, we're not supposed to do that yet. <laughs> Damn, I got caught. <laughs> Song was stumping everywhere. Say this man new, bro. That's right, find the little little ass nigga. Like shit. <laughs> and my first song was hard, so I went through a couple of niggas. Couldn't find him. They knew him, but shit, wasn't nobody lead me to him. But then I found him. Went to my nigga Daddyo. Daddyo had a connect. Seen each other, JTs out there. Chopped it up. Been on and popping ever since. I mean, we was on that road for real, like, nigga, every weekend, nigga, back and forth to Atlanta and shit, doing open mics and strip clubs and Coco shit, Mo, yeah. Indiana. everywhere. Yeah, ask the camera how they haven't even heard of Kokomo, Indiana. Kokomo, Indiana, that's when, uh, that jerk ass nigga, uh, Marcus Jay. Billups, no, yeah. Marcus, ran off on, uh, Sean Paul them, yeah. yeah. That janky from old ass nigga, uh, Marcus Billups. Ran off on Sean Paul. That, that nigga here try to book any of y'all. Marcus Billups, little fat nigga. Yeah. Man, full of shit. Ain't got nothing going. He yeah. had to stand at a one star hotel. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Ah, oh, man. We was the only ones at the hotel, nigga. He was the real. 90 rooms, nigga. He was the real janky. <laughs> yeah. Nigga brought us some hooters cuz from the hooters right across the bridge, nigga. Ah, oh, man. All the way to Kokomo, Indiana's past Indianapolis, cuz. It's past Indianapolis. It's like damn near Detroit. This is damn near Detroit, cuz. Kokomo, Indiana, cuz. The nigga said he had us booked for like three days at the room. <laughs> Feel what I'm saying? He had the whole weekend booked for real. Sean Paul, me, man, Marcus, <laughs> we getting them up for the first day. We making sure. So the first day after we check, you know, in the morning time, we going down there to make sure rooms are paid for. And they said dude was out in the car, nigga. They was like, nah, he ain't paid for nothing. We go outside. This nigga was skirting off. Yeah, yeah he was skirting <laughs> off and shit. Nigga, we had no room, no nothing. He dipped. <laughs> I don't fuck that nigga. Well, nobody, yeah, I don't nobody fuck that nigga. Then he's just on my Facebook, had the nerve to invite me to a Halloween party. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, a monk in the tree. He got balls. Yeah, fuck that nigga. But anyway, me and my nigga, yeah, that chemistry on them songs is ether. I'm gonna drop some new shit on you niggas. What's the, what's the craziest shit you seen this nigga do? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can't talk about that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you always doing something crazy, shit. That might incriminate him, shit. Can't do that one. Wait, what's the craziest shit he did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You ever seen a nigga? You ever seen a, you know, we are way up, way out of town on the show. You ever walk in on your man's going deep in something? <laughs> you know, on a table, though. Damn, this nigga's just on the table, damn. You feel me? 
mean, like, real talk, real, that's a real story, though. I'm in VIP, he's up in the VIP. Nigga, I walk in, nigga, I think some, was it like, did we do two different sets, set, set night? Did we do, uh, was he, was we on two different sets? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember, that. but I just remember going up in that VIP and dude is killing something out, man. You <laughs> hear me? He's killing something out, like, god damn it. So you know me. Shit, where the buddy at? Who's else? Who's else around this motherfucker? You know, just some shit, just some shit we did on the road, man. Fun shit, man. You know. Living. Living, you know. Yeah, living. I, I feel like with this project, I, I, you know, it's a lot more personal with me. You know what I'm saying? Like. Besides my other projects, you know, they normally hurt me in clubs and doing club music, all that, but for real, for real, like, a, a lot of, a lot of that shit is just, you know, some shit, you know, I, I base my music off the time and what's, what I'm going through at the time, you know what I'm saying, that's what music is about, you feel me, time is, I just pay attention to everything I got going on and what's going on. and downs though man but I remember when the little nigga was like what 10? I'm a grown man though. So what? Nigga I'm older than you but look what was you like 10? Yeah. Well, That's the time when you and little bro made that rap? Like 9 or 10 years. Man young man these guys was writing raps and shit. I'm playing the motherfucking Dreamcast the 2K. I'm hearing these little, I'm hearing the little guys rapping shit, man. That shit was crazy. You heard me? Chico actually. You just left. <clears throat> they was writing. Then they start rehearsing. They rehearsing like twelve times, man. Mm -hmm. That shit was kind of neat though. And like Fam said, you know what I'm saying? He was, he had a signature book. Man knew he was gonna make it somewhere. You feel me? Look at him now. You feel me? Fuck what you think about me? Him and season. You know, they Shot blowing the up. Fuck up. I'll be back. Yeah, but you know, everything's gravy though, man. Proud of these guys, man. They doing it for the Ville. Yeah, trying to hold this bitch down. Yeah, yeah, representing. This 
my man Pookie J, man. He do a whole lot of my music. I heard the music. That's the man behind the music. Whatever it is, man. One of the top engineers in Louisville, Kentucky. You uh, know about them, but you know my situation real, you know? Like, I'm trying to make a transition, you know, I'm trying to lead the streets, be in the rap game. It ain't as easy as people think it is. So I'm just handling my business, doing what I gotta do at the moment, for, for real. I'm just doing what I gotta do. Yeah, my mama straight, my sister straight, my kids too. Inside the life that they don't tell y'all. Niggas want your money, niggas want to fuck your hoes and shit. Trust me, bitch. Yeah. I don't fuck with none of you, niggas. Fuck with none of you. I don't trust none of you. I don't trust none of you. You know. I don't fuck with none of these bitches. Fuck with none of these. I don't trust none of these. I don't trust none of these. You know. I don't fuck with none of you, niggas. Fuck with none of you. I don't trust none of you. I don't trust none of you. I don't fuck with none of these bitches. Fuck with none of these. I don't trust none of these bitches. Trust none of these. You know it. It's your number one night show. Your number one hip hop station. B96.5. It's your player partner, big homie, man. Check it out, man. Left lane living three. Left lane living three. LL3. Whatever you want to call it, man. L squared. Hey, it's definitely going down. Jamarcus, I see you doing big things, man. Hey, keep on pushing, man. No matter what they had to say, man. It's your player partner, big homie. Big homie, salute. Yo, what up, it's your boy DJ Slick, man. Y'all know, they call me the main group again. I'm only representing the movie record, Spinner, the Mixtape, Iron Man, and all that. Right now, I'm here to tell y'all about my homie Jamarcus, man. First off, I met a dude, he was hustling, grinding with the music, man. And um, um, I was dealing with a lot of people in Newburgh, man, so they gave me a record. And it was hot. Um, we ended up um, chopping it up or whatever, and I ended up hosting uh, his first mixtape. Uh, and then I ended up hosting the second mixtape. And, you know, we did a bunch of stuff with the collabs with her season. From um, him most of my tapes and work part two, um, cribs, all kind of stuff, man. So we just been we just been moving and grooving, man. And I took him to my end of Kentucky, um, you know what I'm saying? Cause he already had the movement thing going, but we took him all around the other spots, man. And he gained a whole bunch of fans, man. He came and freed me my back to school drive that I do out in Western Kentucky. Um, you know what I'm saying? Friends. So you know what I'm saying? We just been moving and grooving, man. And he always give me dope music, and I pull people that do dope music. Get right to the point with him. We don't got to ask him going to the studio or nothing. We go straight in. You know what I'm saying? He just give me records and you know we run like that, man. So we been rocking anything he's doing on support, man. It's been like that. All right, 502 play close attention. You know how it goes down, DJ. I always bring you the exclusiveness. I keep it fresh. I keep it fly. And in the building, I got with me Jamarcus, man. He from the east side. What up, man? What up, man? I'm from the south side too, man. All right, right. You, you know, know. In the let them know. It's all good. Shout out, much love to the east side, much love to the west side. All that, you know, the whole state, you know, the different cities in the state. You know, I'm all over, man. So. so you know, you know, we go back, bro. I'm talking about like this ain't nothing for us. So every time you drop a new project, new single, you always come see me. You always let the bill know what's good in the hood. So you know, man, you've been able to stay relevant, and you've been able to stay. You know, putting out heat, man. So, how you been doing that? Where you get your inspiration from, first and foremost? Oh, man. Uh, well, yeah. I've been messing with you for a while, you so, you know, it's, it's another love when I come see you. But, um, my inspiration just from what I go through every day, just from my life, you know, I, I, I really live, like, I'm on live right now, I really live a live lifestyle. You know, that's why it's Left Lane Living 3. We're on the third one. It's my fourth mixtape, but it's my third Left Lane Living 3. Then I'm dropping King of Kentucky, and I don't care how they feel about it. 
You know what, man? You shining, you looking good, man. You know what? I'm going to take them back to the first day I met you, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take them back to Jim Porter's. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest Jim in peace. Porter's. Rest in peace, Jim Porter's. That was the spot everybody in the city knew about it. If you ain't... You weren't old enough to get in Jim Porter's, man. You missed the time. You want to know a secret? I was actually able to get in Jim Porter's, but never went. You never went to I Jim Porter's? I never oh, got no. to go to Jim Porter's. You ain't get to witness right. breaking Those are the what best you think. Parties. You ain't get a chance to witness yeah. that record getting broke in the club. So, I meet Jamarcus, you know what I'm saying? He's telling me he got a hot new record. He's got what you think. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have heard that a thousand times. He gave me the record. So... I'm DJing with DJ Weedy, shouts out DJ Weedy, you know what I'm saying, but we doing our thing. And one thing that people know about me, if you give me your music early, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to always give you a shot, I'm going to always play your music, because I like breaking music. I call myself Mr. Exclusive, so Jamarcus, he was humble, you know what I'm saying, I took the record, I played it. They already knew the damn record, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I we don't know, know how, right, we you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm looking across the crowd, people already sitting around, I'm like, alright, cool, cool. So, but, you know, I took it from the club, you know what I'm saying, playing at the gym porters, and brought it up here to B96.5, and I was like, yo, man, we're going to set this record off around the whole city. So, once I played that joint across the whole entire Kentucky end, I'm telling you, the city just went crazy. People was asking me, what's the record? How did they get it? DJs was asking me for the record. And this man been humble ever since. I just been steadily staying consistent, even with everything going on, you know, as right. far as, you know, just the stuff I've been through, you know, catching cases, uh, being out there on the streets, getting shot, you know, all that type of, you know, all that's been going on. But I've been staying consistent, like, right. like, I got shot. I shot a video, still hurt. I'm still on the walker in the wheelchair. I still shot a video, like, yeah. Who does that? Who Somebody does that? Somebody who's hungry. That's Somebody right. who's trying to get in where I'm fitting. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, you doing your thing, bro. You eating, you looking good, man. Yeah. Staying healthy. And more importantly, no, man, you taking up. care of that kids. Man. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know I want right, to You know, shout out to little, 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 little dudes. And I heard that, man, it happened, man, on live, bro. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I was actually laying right here in the street. Scoot up, you see where the uh, where the little marks is and shit in the street. Right here, yeah, right here man. I was shot right here, laying on the ground, man. You feel me? I'm right here on the ground, shot and shit. You feel me? A whole lot of traffic out here and shit. I got a little dude, man. Yeah, man. I got a little dude. He was out here, man. He got a whole lot of kids, man. He ain't got no legs or nothing, man. You feel me? Little dude's out here. You know, going for his life, man. Shit, he wasn't, he wasn't supposed to go through that, you feel me?
Hey, never look, so I want me to work on the hop. That's crazy. Exactly. But he's an hop right there. He's an hop right there. Look, they right under me, man. See how, see how time flies? Flat on it. Make you feel like they always been. 